<clears throat> grace and peace, grace and peace. Grace and peace, everyone. Grace and peace to all of you. Grace and peace, grace and peace. Grace and peace, grace and peace. As you come in, tell us where you're viewing us from. I want to uh, greet you from your state. Um, I wanna make sure that we're hitting all 50 states when we pray and when we seek God in the fullness of who he is. Hello, good to see you, good to see you. Amen, good to see all of you. Good morning, good to see you, good to see you. Kind of lagging a little bit on our TikTok platform. Amen, amen, come on in here. Amen, we got Merlin, amen. We're lagging, but a little bit. North Carolina, we'll be in North Carolina on August the 26th. If you have not registered yet, you need to. Um, we're gonna be right in North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina to be exact, um, for our revival. And so I want to make sure that you go and register for Greensboro, North Carolina. Amen. I promise you, God is going to be in the room and we're going to see the manifestation of God's power, his anointing, his favor, um, and what he's calling us to do um, in this season. So we are so grateful for what God is about to do in North Carolina on August the 26th. I believe that God is going to show up in a very mighty and yet unique way that the power of God is going to be exemplified. So if you're in North Carolina on August the 26th, you need to be there. North Carolina, South Carolina, um, anywhere of the liners. Even if you're in Augusta, you can drive to North Carolina and meet us there. Amen. I believe that the Lord um, has called you to this live this morning um, because I believe that this is going to be a season where God is going to increase our capacity. Um, there are certain moments and seasons, and I'm not going to be long because I have a cold. Um, when, uh, and so when I travel a lot, I get a cold. Amen. Uh, but this is going to be the season that the Lord is going to let you catch up and increase your capacity. A lot of times when we believe that um, we are behind, the Lord has a way of catching us up to what he's saying. Uh, and my belief is, as the Lord says to tell you, he's about to connect you um, and he's going to disconnect you. Um, a lot of us have been connected to the wrong people, wrong places, and it ain't your anointing and it ain't what you carry. It's your connection. And the problem that we have is that we've got some people in our life, in our circle, that God halted his favor from. Um, wow. Um, he, he, he's not going to allow certain people to enter into this next season with you because he knows what it takes for you to get there. And you've got to understand that what God is about to do in the next few moments is he's about to reward you for your faithfulness, but he's about to pull you away from people that has literally, that has literally been pulling you away from what he said. Um, it's a hard task and moments because we love people and we try to help everybody and we try to pour into everybody and we try to mentor everybody. And we try to accommodate for everybody. But the Lord says in this season, you're going to have to know to leave them where they're at and move on. Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to this morning and I can't get overly excited um, because in this season, you're going to have to choose who you must please. The Lord told me to tell you um, in this moment that I need you. Um, I need you to understand. Uh, did nobody say that? Now, a lot of people read into what um, what they want to say. I'll say this to you, um, that this is a season of expansion. 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 Season of expansion. Um, last night, we talked about how um, Joshua broke down the wall with praise. 
And uh, But today I want to really remind you that this next thing that God's going to do you, is going to require you to have to build it and structure it. even if it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna let you let that sink in. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your grace and your mercy and your power. We thank you, God, for being who you are to us God, we thank you for bringing us to another day. But we thank you for your grace and your mercy and your power and your strength. We thank you, God, for being God and God all by yourself. And how you don't need no help from nobody else. God, we thank you that you it was you that woke us up this morning and started us on our way. God, we thank you that although we're going through trials and tribulations and problems and issues, you still been good. Lord, we thank you uh, that God, in spite of what we're feeling and the emotions and things that we're going through, God, you are still faithful. We thank you. God, we thank you, God, that, that, that although there are some prayers you didn't answer, and it's only because you knew better. So God, we thank you for protecting us from our own desires and our own mindsets and our own thinking and our own processes. God, we thank you, God, that you've been God by yourself. And, and God, there's been some places and some things we didn't deserve, but, but because of your grace and your mercy, you gave it to us anyway. Thank you, God, for there were moments, God, that we didn't know why you were prolonging uh, us to get to a place and why things were certain held up for a certain amount of time and we complained and we were frustrated and we thought that you wasn't with us but God we pray right now that you would begin to work a miracle in our lives to let us know that we weren't by ourselves so, so God thank you for not allowing us to launch into it hallelujah <laughs> uh, too prematurely thank you for not releasing it into our hands knowing we couldn't handle it thank you God for letting us wait. Oh God, because we wasn't ready yet. And God, we pray that even right now, as you continue to prepare us and you continue to mold us and you continue to shape us, that you would release us into what you promised us. We thank you, God, that this is a season of release. It's 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 a season of release. Chandra the Stallion, you're not going to have to fight hard. God's going to release it into your hands. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Rochelle, the Lord says, I'm going to move concerning your life in the next 24 hours because you've been faithful, although it's been hard. And I'm about to make some things shift instantly. It's a season of release. Sean, come here. Sean, Coach Crystal Henry, the Lord says, I'm going to exalt you before the same people that told you you wasn't going to never get a chance to do it again. And I'm getting ready to bring you before great men because it's your time. Come on, let's move now. Uh, oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 A season of release. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 
Thank you, Lord. While God's releasing, he's also exposing. And many of you don't know this, but you think exposing is bad, but exposure is good to people that are prepared. And God says, I'm about to expose you to new places. Whoo, I'm about to expose you to new faces. Thank you for the flowers. I'm about to expose you to new places. Thank you for the hearts. I'm about to expose you into new rooms. Thank you, Jesus. I'm about to expose you to new connections. Thank you, Jesus. I'm about to expose you to new. Oh, yes, I know you thought God was hiding you, but he was really protecting you because when he really releases you, you're going to know exactly what to do. God said, I'm exposing you to new places, new places, new places. I thought that was Marcus, but I'm looking at a ceiling. It's going to expose you to new places. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the badges. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. New places. New people, new territory, new places, new people, new territory. Whew. He says, I've already made a way. Before you get there, I made a way. Hallelujah. Whew. I know you've been worried about what's going to happen when you get there. But he said, don't worry about what happens when you get there. Just know that I've already recovered you. And I know you seem like, hallelujah, that you by yourself. He said, but when you get there, I'm going to expose you to new places, new people, new territory. I need to tell you today that it's, it's waiting on you. It's waiting on you. Yeah, you, you, it's waiting on you. It's waiting on you. Hey, brother, it's waiting on you. <laughs> it's waiting on you. What you've been praying for, it's waiting on you. There's a glory. God says, when you put your foot on the ground, you'll know. This is going to be like people coming to you. So many people flooded to you. New territory. New territory. New territory. New territory. New places, new territory. Hey, brother. You can't hear me. <laughs> new territory, new places. He said, I'm about to take the spirit, I'm about to take that defeat out of you. And I'm not going to let you lose. For the season before you, you've been prepared for. And you will not lack. You will not suffer. You will not struggle. He says, I've went before you. And I'm causing my face to shine upon you now. New grace. New territory. New grace. New territory. It's at the top. The one at the top. <laughs> new grace. New territory. You're not going to go without. God is rerouting you right now. That's the reason why. Some people, you it appeared you were going one way, but God is causing you to go a whole nother way because it's new territory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. New grace. 
through territory, through grace, through territory, through grace, through territory. He had to reroute you. <laughs> and I know it seemed like things were coming against your life. If you ask God, why is all these tests and problems coming at me? And God said, I had to reroute you because there were some things I seen that you didn't have the ability to see. That's why I couldn't have let it happen then. And you thought God was upset at you, but God said, no, I was rerouting you because I was really protecting you. Because there were some people that were connected to you that that were just waiting on you to become everything you said you would so they can manipulate you. Mm. God said, I had to reroute you. And I know it seems like God was taking you the long way. Hallelujah. I know it seemed like God was taking you. It, it seemed like God, where are you at? He said, I, I was hiding you. Oh, I was protecting you. He says, and now I can release it. He said, because, because now, now you're in a place of grace. You didn't even know that you were in danger. You were waiting. And God said, I'm rerouting you. I'm rerouting you. I'm rerouting you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It was protection. It wasn't delay. It was protection. It wasn't delay. Wow. And you were holding on because you thought that it would change. You thought they would change. You thought that things would work out for the better. But you knew all along you had to release that thing. Lord said, I was rerouting you. He said, but now, and I'm about to let you arrive. I need you to comment one word and say arrive. I was in my GPS the other day and I was riding in there and I kept missing my exit because I was talking on the phone. And so I got off the phone so I could focus. And although I knew I had arrived, thank you, Jesus. The GPS made an announcement that when I got there, she said, arrive to your destination. <laughs> I need you to know Something that in the month of August, God says, I know it seemed like it was a long time. And I know you seemed like you were distracted. And I know some there were some reroutes. And I know that you were frustrated. And I know there were some things trying to distract you. He said, but um, in the month of August, your word going to be, huh, You've arrived to your destination. I know you've been struggling trying to figure out, God, how I'm going to get there. But the Lord told me to tell you this morning that when you, he says, I know it's going to look familiar. I know, I know you think you know where you're going. He said, but trust me. When you get there, everything you need's gonna be there. It's not gonna be no fight. It's not gonna be no struggle. All the fight you have to get to get there is proof that when you get there, all will be well. All right, we gotta go. I've arrived. I've arrived. I've arrived. I survived so that I could arrive. And all will be well when I get there. All will be there well when I get there. We're going to sow this morning. We're going to sow this morning. We're going to sow this morning. I want everyone that can to sow the seed of 10, 10 or, or, or 20 
but so we're sowing. If you're sowing this morning, but I'm sowing, I'm going to arrive. Has been some delay, but this month it's going to arrive. Mm. It's going to arrive. No, it seems like there's a delay, but there wasn't a delay. Uh, you need some more. The other day, I was um, waiting on a package to be delivered. But the package never left the facility. But because I had insurance on the package, um, and not only did I have insurance on the package, I had insurance on the item. Uh, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Um, and the Lord told me to tell you um, that it seems like a delay. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He says, but uh, he says, I am assuring you, hallelujah, uh, hallelujah, uh, that when it arrives, it won't be broken. There won't be nothing missing. Mm -hmm. Won't be nothing lacking. Uh, there won't be no confusion. Mm -mm. Uh, it's going to be better than what you thought it was going to be. Uh, the Lord told me to tell you uh, that because I had you wait, because I was trying to upgrade it. Uh, and I know that what you thought you were going to get was one thing. Uh, but what I'm about to give you is greater than. Uh, that's why you had to lose that. Uh, that's why you had to suffer for that. Uh, that's why you had to give up that. Uh, that's why you had to let go of those people. Uh, and it looked like you were losing. Mm -mm. Uh, but it was God's way of transitioning you to greater. Uh, uh, you about to tell me uh, I arrived, I arrived, I, I arrived, uh, I arrived, mm. I arrived, I arrived. It's going to be better. Uh, it's going to be an upgrade because uh, 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 God has ensured uh, at this time. It will arrive. Uh, oh, I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but I need you to understand uh, that this time, because you got some things out of your life. You said, God, listen, uh, I'll accept greater. I know uh, it was hard for you to let it go, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. Uh, it was hard for you to let it go, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It was. Uh, tell the truth. Uh, it was hard for you to not understand it because you said, God, I thought this would be with me forever. Uh, I thought that this would be something that ride or die with me. But the Lord told me to tell you, no, uh, that whole time it was baggage. Uh, but the Lord said, now, that I released everything out of your hand uh, that was trying to take you out. Uh, it looked like it, you couldn't afford it anyway. Uh, you were struggling to keep it. You were struggling to maintain it. Uh, and God said, I only gave it to you uh, so that you can see what the real thing can look like. Uh, but I need you to understand the Lord told me to tell you uh, I'm about to upgrade you. Uh, I need you to tag somebody in the comment section uh, and say everything that God's about to do in my life. Uh, it's an upgrade, baby. Uh, you don't understand. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, come here, 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 come here. Um, lady, got lady a phone. I'm going to tell her business because she still ain't using it. Got lady a phone and uh, a brand new phone. I mean, it's still sitting in the box right now. And um, a uh, brand new phone. Uh, it's beautiful, upgraded and everything. But somehow or another, a uh, lady um, been using her old phone. Amen. Uh, um, and so I realized the other day that I'm going to leave her phone alone. And uh, I went on ahead and uh, went to go upgrade my phone. But when I went to go upgrade my phone, they examined how I handled. All right. Let me help you. Uh, the last phone. Uh, um, they made sure there was no cracks in the phone. They made sure there was ooh, Shandala behind. Uh, um, they made sure that the sound, there was no water damage on the phone um, because they were trying to make sure uh, that when I traded this phone in for value, that that it was still valuable. Uh, and the only reason why I was able to jump to the next phone uh, is because I handled the last one. Uh, the Bible says, if you be 
faithful uh, over a few things. Uh, he's going to make you ruler uh, over many. Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to, uh, but your upgrade's coming because uh, how you handled the last season. Uh, oh, yeah, I know they talked about you, uh, but because you handled it well, uh, God said, I'm going to put you in rooms uh, that when this person uh, talks about you, uh, they got enough connections that when they mention your name, uh, you're going to be blessed in that room. Uh, Come here. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Uh, God said, I know. I was wondering how you were going to handle your last job. They got on your nerves. They tried to talk about you. They tried to humiliate you. They even had talks about firing you. But God said, because you stayed your course and you handled it well, I'm going to upgrade you. Oh, I come in. I know they talked and they told you that it wasn't going to work. And they laughed at you and they tried to tell everybody about. Look at them online and look at them over there. Uh -huh. But God told me to tell you I'm about to upgrade you. Come here, Beyonce. Come here. Let me, let me, let me upgrade you. I know you've been renting for the last five years and you took care of it. You kept it intact. Uh, but the Lord says, uh, you've been faithful in that renting stage. Uh, but come here. Uh, God said, I'm about to upgrade you. Uh, I know uh, you've been faithful as a friend uh, to everybody else's business, um, supporting them, pouring into them, and covering them. Uh, but come here, Beyonce. Uh, she said, uh, baby, let me upgrade you. Uh, and I got to tell you something. Uh, the Lord said, I've seen you be faithful. Uh, it was hard, but you've been faithful. You cried, but you were faithful. You struggled, but you were faithful. Almost gave up, but you were faithful. Uh, worked overtime for a job you didn't like anymore. You were faithful. Uh, you kept your course. Uh, wanted to give up, but you said, Lord, uh, if it be your will, I'll hold on a little longer. Uh, and the reason why uh, God is about to upgrade you uh, is because you were faithful uh, over the few. Uh, you were faithful in the storm. Uh, it was hard. Don't lie about it. Uh, it was crazy, but don't lie about it. Uh, you went through a divorce for it, but don't lie about it. Uh, you struggled for for it. You fast for it. You cried for it. There were some sleepless nights about it, but you stayed your course and you stayed humble and you kept your head down in prayer. And the Lord said, I heard you. And when you prayed last night, I don't know who this is for, but he said, I heard you. But I didn't hear your prayer. He said, I heard your faithfulness. Some of you need to praise God because he didn't hear your prayer. Because what you prayed wasn't great enough for him. And because you didn't give up, because you didn't throw in the towel, because you didn't put him out, because you didn't respond, because you didn't get nasty, because you didn't go down there. He said, because you were praying and you kept praying and you kept reading and you kept staying on the course. He says, I'm sure to bless you. I need you to tag somebody right now and say, the Lord is sure to bless you. Go ahead, tag him. He's sure to bless you. 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 Job went through hell, not because he wasn't faithful, but Job went through problems and lost everything because he was faithful. But God Hallelujah. God, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, was trying to get him to understand that, yeah, I know you lost, almost lost your wife, and you almost lost your life, and you lost some children, and you lost some money, and you lost some land, and you got sickness in your body, but you don't know because you didn't give up, and because, come here, he said, I, 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 I sit the storm, he said, because the reason reason why I sent the storm is because I was trying to remove you from being complacent. Uh oh. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Trying to move you from being complacent. You, you were complacent. You were complacent. Um, you, you were comfortable. And the Lord said, um, thank you, Jesus. He said, yeah, that, that, that's the reason why I start letting you lose stuff. Because you stop believing that I can give you more than what you had. That's, that's the reason why I didn't. Um, that's the reason why. 
I started stripping things away from you because you stopped believing that there's more. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, ah, hallelujah. Uh, you 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 stopped believing that God could do greater in you. Uh, so you so you thought that was it. Uh, so he said, you know what? Uh, I've got to take that away from you. Uh, and I got to take that away from you. Uh, and I got to move this over here. And you said, why everybody ain't messing with me? Even even your friends was telling you, uh, what did you do to go through this? And and and, and girl, uh, uh, you you might as well go ahead and and do this uh, and, and and have to whoosh under the behind. Uh, but God said to tell you to Day, uh, that I know you've been going through your Job experience, uh, but uh, we don't know this, but uh, Job, when, uh, when it got hard, because it's been hard, uh, can, can we be honest? It's been hard. Um, can we be honest? It's been hard. <laughs> Can, can we be honest? It's been hard. I'm waiting on you to say, yeah, it's been hard. I need everybody to buy every one of those little uh, gummy bears for me on TikTok. It's been hard. Can, can we be honest? It's been a fight. But the Lord says um, the reason why I've been letting you fight like that and the reason why it's been hard, uh, he says, because uh, the storm is really preparing you. Um, thank you, Jesus. The storm is really preparing you to have a never ending blessing. The Bible declares that when Job, thank you, Jesus, when Job gets to the end of his rope, Job says something for God, I live and for God, I'll die. And what happens at the end of the story is that Job doesn't get back what he lost. He doesn't. Um, matter of fact, he can't replace his kids. He can't replace this time he lost. He he can't. But the Lord didn't just give him back what he lost. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you, Jesus. Um, um, the Lord gave him double for what he lost. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, um, but the Lord said, I know uh, you had a house before and you lost it, but it's okay. Uh, I'm about to give you double. Uh, I know uh, um, that you had a good car before. Uh, he said, but that's all right. Uh, I'm about to give you double. Uh, I need to tell you that your storm uh, is about to come to an end. Uh, and the Lord, thank you, uh, is about to give you double. Uh, I know. Yes, Jesus is coming back. But before he come back, there's some things I must complete. Uh, and the Lord says, I'm not going to leave you. Uh, uh, he says, when you leave this earth, uh, you're going to leave empty. Uh, hallelujah. There's still a gift in you. Uh, there's still an assignment in you. Uh, there's still an ability in you. Uh, there's still an anointing in you. Uh, there's still some things in you. Uh, and you're not going to be like the rest. When I leave this earth and when Jesus returns and when he finds me, he going to find me on empty. Every dream's going to come to pass. Every assignment he told me to do, I'm going to do it. Everything he placed in me that he said you could do, you're going to do it. This ain't, you ain't going to fail. You ain't going to give up. You ain't going to throw in the towel. There's something inside of you. And that's the reason why the enemy's trying to attack you because there's something inside of of you. There's a gift in you. There's an assignment in you. There's an ability in you. Hallelujah. There's something in you. He says, and I'm about to pull it out of you. It's a season. Oh, oh when you end this year, they're going to say, do you have anything else to announce? Yes, I got another one and another one. Girl, I just seen you get that house and you're going to say, but I got another one. They're going to say, you just testified last week. I got another one. You just said that God brought you. You just got a new car the last month. You said, but yes, I got another one. You said God just healed your grandma. Yeah, he did. But I got another one uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, you're going to have a testimony uh, every single month, uh, every single week. Uh, and you're going to testify. Wait a minute. There's another one. Uh, every time you turn around, there's going to be another blessing and another one. Uh, every time you turn around, somebody in your family is going to say, girl, God did it again. Uh, and another one. Uh, and every time you think that God's not going to show up. 
He's going to show up double to remind you it was worth the wait. I need you to do it what DJ Cali said and another one. When God, I know you've been going through struggle after struggle, trial after trial. But the Lord said, I was just preparing you. So for every, when I release this glory and when I release this favor and when I release this miracle, oh, shun the behind. Your whole family going to be blessed. Oh, when I bless you, your cousin coming out too. When I deliver you, your daddy's getting delivered. When I set you free, your mama's getting free. When I bless you, your co- your sister's getting blessed. When I give you a house, your sister gonna get a house. When I bring you out, I'm bringing your brother out too. This is a season. He says, I'm doing it for your whole bloodline. Why? He says, because double's coming. And hey, there's gonna be another one. Yeah, come on, Jesus. Yeah, there's going to be another one uh, and another one uh, and another one. Uh, when Job gets out of his situation, uh, we find ourselves uh, looking at everything Job lost. Uh, but now Job, uh, he says, I see double. Uh, you need to tag somebody uh, and say, I see double. Uh, oh, Shanda behind. Uh, I, I don't know why, but I see it. I see it. Uh, I see double. Uh, I don't see just one. Uh, I just don't see two. Uh, but I see double. Uh, double coming doubles coming doubles coming i'm in my time doubles coming i see double i see double after all the hell i've been through i see double after all the trials i've been through i see double after all the things i lost along the way Oh, God's about to double it. Hey, hey, y'all. I said, hey, uh, hey, y'all. That's right. Get yours. I see double. You ain't never been on this level before. I see double. That's right. You better tag Sebastian. Hallelujah. I see double. 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 Hey, y'all. I see double. 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 We're going to sow. We're going to sow. I see double. I see double. Double portion. Double portion over you. I speak double portion over you. Double anointing. <laughs> double portion. Double blessing. Double favor. Ah! Double, double. <laughs> That's one of my favorite um, African Christian songs. It's double, double. <laughs> Mmm, double, double. Who <laughs> shanda Double, double. Let us sow. Let us sow. We're sowing the seed of 10. We're sowing the seed of 20. I want 50 of you to sow the seed of 10. And I want 20 of you to sow the seed of 20. We're sowing now. We're sowing now. I see double. I see double. Double, double. Mmm. Double, double. Double, double. Double. You didn't lose it because you couldn't handle it. You lost it because God wanted to replace it with better. We're sowing. 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 I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Cause things will work out for the good of them who love. I'm waiting on you to sow. Things will work out. God bless you, YouTube family. For the good of them who love. 